church community welcomes the former military head of state, General Yakubu Gowan. He's accompanied by heavily armed men. Insecurity is the concern, and the former military leader is the convener. He leads the congregation in prayers. We bring confession uh, for sins of needless bloodshed and killings and renewed attacks by the dreadful Boko Haram insurgents, banditry, increased state of kidnappings in various parts of the country, and all kinds of evil in our, uh, in our nation. The governor of Bauchi State and top members of his cabinet also joined the gathering. We need prayers to overcome the agents of darkness and under development. We need prayers to go out of the woods, which have, we have been put by bad leadership. In the past, religion was used to divide us in Bauchi. The narrative is now changing. And I'm proud to say that my government is the most accommodating and most representative of all faiths. In the north central, Muslims in Niger State converged on the Mina Central Mosque to observe prayers for the nation. Governor Abubakar Bello is among top government officials at the prayer ground. He says more than 10,000 people have been displaced so far. Recently, very unusual, uh, in the last uh, few weeks, we have been confronted with a lot of uh, security challenge from unknown armed bandits from wherever they are. Christians also observe prayers in the various local churches before gathering at the State Secretariat of the Christian Association of Nigeria and Mina to finish what they've started. For several years, the Northeast have been the epicenter of insurgency, creating a humanitarian crisis across the northern region. These leaders are hoping the prayers, coupled with the efforts of military, will bring to an end the insurgency and restore a lasting peace in the region. Open your mouth and pray that prayer.